with Chief Meteorologist Holden LaCroix. Welcome back in. I tell you what, it never fails. September, we always get some heat wave and also wildfire smoke. Taking a live look over uh, Coburg Road in Eugene. That is not clouds, that is smoke coming in from the Moss Mountain Fire. Again, that's about 15 miles southeast of Oak Ridge, but normally you can kind of see Spencer Butte off in the distance, but you can barely see the glimpse of that right now. And all of this white is not cloud cover at all. In fact, if we didn't have the smoke, we would have a crystal clear blue sky. That is not the case right now. Again, this is the smoke that's billowing right towards Eugene uh, right now, sh showing explosive growth just south of Oak Ridge, and that is thanks to this really dry air mass in place. This shade of yellow is incredibly low humidity right now. Uh, anywhere from around 12 to 15 percent of the entire atmosphere has moisture in it, so that is some incredibly dry air from an air mass that has been moving in from the desert southwest, and this is also going to be the culprit for 100 degree temperatures tomorrow. Now we didn't hit 95 today, so you're asking, are we really going to see 100 degrees? Well, this morning we had a little bit of cloud cover. Tomorrow we are not going to see any whatsoever, and we're going to get the full force of this high pressure system moving in tomorrow. will likely be around 100 degrees in Eugene, upwards of possibly 103 for you folks up towards Salem before we finally start to cool things off. Friday, with that cool down comes the thunderstorm chances. There's a slim chance but there's still the possibility we could get a stray storm down across areas of Roseburg. We're going to be watching that closely. By Saturday, though, we introduce that thunderstorm potential up into the Cascades. It's not a great chance, but it only takes one cell, especially to move in after this heat wave to cause some issues, and we are going to be tracking that closely. Now, the good thing, though, is once we get off, get through all these hurdles, we start to cool things down, and I will say even as early as Saturday night, we are going to start to dramatically cool things down as cloud cover streams in, and eventually that will lead to our rain chances that are going to hold off likely until next Tuesday night and Wednesday. So overnight lows around 70 degrees up towards Blue River. That uh, heat from today is just getting trapped up there. And where have the hundreds been? It's been up towards the foothills today. In fact, uh, Oak Ridge got up to about 102, 103 for you folks in Blue River. Now we increase those temperatures tomorrow afternoon. It is going to be the peak of the heat for tomorrow before we slowly start to shave those down, but it is going to be a sultry day up there. 106 degrees up towards areas of Oak Ridge before we finally start to cool things off. So ship those outdoor activities to the morning, even up into the Cascades. We are talking about some dangerous conditions over the next 48 hours, and it's a result of this high pressure. Now it eventually starts to weaken. We start to see some cooling by Saturday. Notice we're going to be back up into the upper 80s around 90 degrees, but a much more broader long wave trough is setting up offshore, and that will eventually lead to our widespread cooler weather that we are anticipating moving into the month of September around the 15th or so. So here's the change right before your very eyes. 75 on Thursday, cloud cover increases. Here comes the shower chances by Tuesday and Wednesday back down into the mid 60s across the Roseburg area. 105 Thursday afternoon. That is likely going to break the all time September record of 104 degrees before we cool things off next week. 72 in rain by next Wednesday. Similar story up into the Cascades. We have a red flag warning in place, uh, cooler weather and eventually rain and 58 degrees by next Wednesday. And here's the dramatic change 102 at the beginning of this seven day forecast 90s for the duck game and then by next week 72 and I will say all models past next Wednesday keep us no warmer than 78 degrees. So the change is happening. It's just taking its sweet time and we got to get through this heat first. Well, at least sounds like it'll be a lot better for game day. Yeah, better than last week for sure. Right. <laughs>